welcome to the next new class and the next new session this video is the continuation of part 3 of matrices today we are discussing equality of matrices transpose of a matrix symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix with examples okay let us start equality of two matrices two matrices a and b are said to be equal if a and b are of same order and the elements in the corresponding places of the two matrices are equal. For example, consider the example A equal to matrix 135, 203, 170. Its order is 3 by 3. 3 rows and 3 columns. That means order is 3. Consider the matrix B. The elements are 135, 203, 170. The order of this matrix is also 3 by 3. Okay. 3 rows and 3 columns. Here, Order of two matrices are equal. Also, the elements in the corresponding places are also equal. Here, A11, in the position of A11, 1. Also, in A11, here 1. A123, here A123, here A13, 5. Okay, all are same. Then we say that A equal to B. Clear? If matrix MN OP equal to matrix 3184, find M, N, O and P. Given that these two matrices are equal, we know that if two matrices are equal, then their corresponding elements are equal. That means in here A11 position M, here A11 position 3. Then we can write M is equal to 3. Okay? Then next, here A12 position is N, here 1. We can write N is equal to 1. A21 position O, here A21 position 8. Then we can write O is equal to 8. Next A22 position P. Here A22 4. Then we can write P is equal to 4. Okay. P is equal to 4. That is M is equal to 3. N is equal to 1. O is equal to 8. P is equal to 4. Clear? Question is if matrix X plus 3, Z plus 4, 2Y minus 7. Second row minus 6, A minus 1, 0. Third row, B minus 3, minus 21, 0. Equal to matrix, first row, 0, 6, 3, Y, minus 2. Second row, minus 6, minus 3, 2, C, plus 2. Third row, 2, B, plus 4, minus 21, 0. Find the value of A, B, C, X, Y, and Z. Okay? Given that these two matrices are equal, then we know that the corresponding elements are equal. Then we can write here x plus 3 equal to 0, z plus 4 is equal to 6, 2y minus 7 is equal to 3y minus 2. Next we can write in second row a minus 1 is equal to minus 3, 2c plus 2 equal to 0. From third row we can write b minus 3 equal to 2b plus 4. I think this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2. This has equation number 3, equation number 4, 5, 6. Okay. From 1 we can write x plus 3 equal to 0. Then we can write x is equal to minus 3. Okay. x is equal to minus 3. From equation 2 we can write z is equal to 6 minus 4. That is equal to 2. Okay. We get z is equal to 2. x is equal to minus 3. From equation 4 we can write a is equal to minus 3 plus 1. That is equal to minus 2. We get A is equal to minus 2. From 5 we can write 2C equal to minus 2. Then C is equal to minus 2 by 2. That is equal to minus 1. Okay. From equation 3 we can write minus 7 plus 2 equal to 3Y minus 2Y. Okay. Then we get 3Y minus 2Y is Y y is equal to minus 7 plus 2, that is minus 5. We get y is equal to minus 5. Clear? From equation number 6, we can write minus 3 minus 4 is equal to 2b minus b. That is minus 7 is equal to b. 2b minus b is b. Now we get the value x is equal to minus 3, z is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 5, a is equal to minus 2, c is equal to minus 1, b is equal to minus 4. Clear? Next is transpose of a matrix. What is transpose of a matrix? 
द मेट्रिक्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम एनी गिवन मेट्रिक्स ए बाय इंटरचेंजिंग बाय इंटरचेंजिंग इट्स रोज एंड कॉलम्स ए मेट्रिक्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम एनी गिवन मेट्रिक्स ए बाय इंटरचेंजिंग इट्स रोज एंड कॉलम्स इज कॉल्ड इट्स ट्रांसपोज एंड इज डिनोटेड लाइक दिस ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए इक्वल टू मेट्रिक्स टू फाइव वन थ्री The transpose of this matrix is when a transpose is equal to matrix. In matrix A, first row is two five. It becomes first column in a transpose that is two five. Okay, we can write two five as column. Next is one three. Then it converted into second column one three in a transpose. That is we get a transpose is equal to matrix two one five three. Clear. Second example is B equal to matrix two one five three four eight five minus five nine. Then B transpose is equal to matrix. Here first row is two one five. We can write it as column in B transpose two one five. Okay. Next row is three four eight. It can be converted into second column that is three four eight in B transpose. Third row is five minus five nine. That can be written as five minus five nine as third column. Okay, that is B transpose is equal to matrix two three five one four minus five five eight nine. Clear. Third example is C equal to matrix first row one two three four, second row two three four one, third row three four two five. Then it's transpose. C transpose is equal to. We can write it as here. The first row is one, two, three, four. We can write first column in C transpose. That is one, two, three, four. Okay. Next is second row is two, three, four, one. It can be written as second column. That is two, three, four, one. Next row is three, four, two, five. That is here. The third column is three, four, two, five. Clear. This is C transpose. That is C transpose is equal to matrix one two three two three four three four two four one five. Clear? Listen. The order of the matrix C is here three rows four columns. That is three by four. The order of C transpose is here the row one two three four. Column is three. That is we can write four by three. The order of C transpose is four by three. From this we can understand that. If a matrix of order m by n, then its transpose is of order n by m. Clear? Next is properties of transpose of a matrix. For any matrices A and B of suitable order, any matrices A and B of suitable order, we have A transpose of transpose equal to A. First property is A transpose of transpose is equal to A. Second property is A plus B whole transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. A plus B whole transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. Third property is A B whole transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. Listen, A B whole transpose is equal to B transpose into A transpose. Last one is K A whole transpose. Equal to k into a transpose, where k is any constant. K a whole transpose is equal to k into a transpose. Clear? Symmetric matrix. What is symmetric matrix? Any matrix A is called symmetric if a transpose is equal to a. Any matrix A is symmetric if a transpose is equal to a. For example. If A equal to matrix first row one two one second row two one three third row one three five write its transpose that is A transpose is equal to first row as column here that is one two one two one three as two one three okay then one three five as one three five okay here A equal to A transpose then we say that. The matrix A is symmetric. Clear? Here A equal to A transpose. Therefore A is symmetric matrix. Clear? Next is skew symmetric matrix. What is skew symmetric matrix? 
A matrix A is called skew-symmetric matrix. If A transpose is equal to minus A. If A is called skew-symmetric matrix. If A transpose is equal to minus A. For example, consider A equal to matrix 0, 3, 5, minus 3, 0, minus 2, minus 5, 2, 0. Find A transpose. A transpose is equal to, we can write 0, 3, 5 as first column. 0, 3, 5. Next row, minus 3, 0, minus 2. Here, minus 5, 2, 0. Okay? Now find negative A transpose. That is equal to matrix. Multiply each and every element with negative. Okay? We get negative 0 is 0. Negative of negative 3 is 3. Negative of negative 5 is 5. Okay. Next is negative 3. That is negative 3 here. Negative 0. That is 0 here. Minus 2. Okay. Then minus 5. Then minus of minus 2 is 2. Then 0. We get A. That is negative A transpose is equal to A. Here A equal to minus A transpose. Therefore, A is Q-symmetric matrix.